Welcome. It's so good to be with you today. And uh, I want to talk to you today just for a few minutes about why uh, online church will never replace face-to-face. -face. We're coming in on a slow home stretch to transitioning uh, in in our area and in our nation with you know back to church and the whole thing. And maybe some people really enjoyed online and that was great. I know people that hated it. I know people that said, well, I do it if I have to, but I, I don't prefer it. But there are clear reasons and scriptural reasons why online communication, online connection can never replace face-to-face. -face. And I'll give you a couple today. Uh, Neil Anderson once talked about this idea that, that al aloneness or aloneness can lead to loneliness. And some people like me, you know, I'm an introvert naturally, so I don't mind being alone. But there are times where as introverted as I can be, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm always studying, reading books, and I'm a teacher and all that, but I need fellowship. I need human connection. And the way Neil Anderson put it beautifully, he says, aloneness can lead to loneliness. God's preventative for loneliness is intimacy. Mean, a meaningful, open, sharing relationship. Uh, relationships with each other. In Christ, we have the capacity for the fulfilling sense of belonging, which comes from intimate fellowship with God and with other believers. And have you noticed that when you fellowship with other people, you feel alive, you feel uh, less disconnected, and you feel almost like you can... Um, uh, be yourself in, in a good way. When you're alone, you really don't have that. There, there's something lacking, even if you like being alone, the way I do sometimes. But uh, think about it this way, that aloneness can be healthy to a point. We, we all need to, times where we take a breath and just stop. But it can lead to feeling empty inside and like, I, I need more than just this. And so that's why we need each other as, as believers, as family, as, as the body of Christ. But here's another reason. There's a blessing that can only happen when we are in fellowship. And I, I didn't put the scripture up today because I, I've been kind of rushing a little bit today, but Psalms 133 is a famous psalm. Psalms 133, 1 through 3. But I'll just read 1 and 3, really. It says, How very good and pleasant it is when kindred love together in unity. Kindred meaning brothers and sisters. And then he says in the last part of verse 3, For there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forevermore. There is something that can be spoken of, of the blessing of God that only happens when people are together in unity. And that cannot happen when we are isolated by ourselves. Sure, maybe it's a blessing of having peace and rest and quiet, but there's a blessing that I am missing if all of my time is separated and only by, by virtual contact or video contact. And one thing I do love is technology. I, I love working with Zoom and all that. It's, it's pretty easy for me, but I realize that it is very limited because it, there's something about face-to-face -face that you can never replace about having coffee across the dinner table with someone. and But another reason yet why, why online church will never replace face-to-face -face is because of this, because you cannot be strong by yourself. I know sometimes we make these independent comments that say, well, you know, I can do it all on my own, and you know, you cannot be strong by yourself. In fact, there was an old saying that said, no Christian can make it alone to heaven. What did that mean? It means that you need help getting there. You need other people, other Christians that are going to make you grow, that are going to encourage you, challenge you, hold you accountable, pick you up on your fall. No, no believer can make it in their Christian walk by themselves because none of us can be strong within ourselves. That's why we need each other. A.W. Tozier had a great illustration that he used to use about fellowship. 
And he said, if you have 120 volts of electricity coming into your house, but you have broken wiring, you may turn on the switch, but nothing works. No lighting comes on. The stove doesn't warm. The radio doesn't turn on. Why? Because you have broken the wiring. The power is ready to do its work, but there is a broken, there is broken wiring. He went on to say that there is no power, so you can't really have a you know you can't have, have a light. And then he goes on to say unity is necessary among the children of God if we are going to flow in the power of God and see His wonders. And there's something that you get from being together that you cannot get by yourself, and that is the power of God, the empowerment of God. That's why Jesus said, when two or three are gathered, I'm there, I'm there. And there's one more reason I want to leave with you before we, we depart today. But uh, Watchman Nee once said, fellowship means, among other things, that we are ready to receive of Christ from others. Other believers minister Christ to me. Have you ever noticed that there is at least one person in your life that you look at them and you say, you know what? I am a Christian because of them. I serve God because of what they did, of who they are, and they were such a blessing to me. And this is what he was talking about there, that Jesus connects, the way he connects with us most of the time is through people, through other people in our life that where we see Jesus inside of them and they see Jesus inside of us. This is why sometimes you can be somewhere all alone and somebody will say, there's something about you. And it's not that you're special or, you know, there's something weird about you, but it's Jesus inside of you that people are connecting with because Jesus connects through people. He connects through you and me. So I want to encourage you today that, that uh, as we begin meeting again, and thank God for that. Thank God for face-to-face. -face. I know so, some of you have been longing to meet again. That uh, Let's keep that in mind that, that virtual meetings are great. There's a, a use for them. But they can never replace what it really means to, to be together and share a prayer, share a word of encouragement, share a meal together. I'm looking forward to that. So until next time, God bless you.